and so forth. Chapter 8. Golden said, traced it his jawline. This confronted in the unrelenting heat, he stripped back his shirt sleeves and with the passing humor noted the development of his sunburst with the most. He doubted even these closets of kin would have recognized him. His moonlight pale skin tinged a light almond color, and his brownish hair sticked with very golden highlights. All things considered, he felt very differently about himself now. Um, felt more aware than was the bigger problems in the world than his own. Still, it was difficult for not to dwell on his sudden disability. Owen contemplated resolving the meditations that had occupied him the length of the morning, but decided that in the space of the house he had learned nothing he hadn't already deducted initiatively. Even some reason his magical abilities were useless in this alien environment, and the prospect frightened him nearly beyond reason. Another week beneath the strange sun, and I shall seem pale next to you, Korak shouted as he hiked back up the path, the stra dark strands of his hair dancing uh, in a hot breeze. This magic and puck must walk without leaving footprints. I can now find uh, evidence of him. How progress uh, your meditations? No luck, I tried everything for lesser path, can't trips to cater path, incantations, nothing works. It's almost as there were no mana here. Mana here. Arching his brows in the Korat motion for the boy to continue. As people misunderstand the way magic works. As a magic and I don't have power within me. All I know are series of words and actions that help me gather the power or mana from the natural world. If However, there's no mana for me to collect, then all my magical training is futile and powerless. Would the same thing be true for Puck? He would be as helpless as I am, worse perhaps, if I were accustomed to having a kind of command that he was and suddenly lost it. He could be in very dire danger, Gorat said, finishing the thought. Leaning over, he fetched the open staff from where they lay discarded in the sand. I think that makes our journey much all the more urgent. On the lands far. So we are in um, yeah, alien environment as you can see. This roads. We are not in Kansas anymore. Chapter 7 was, by the way, it, it was really short chapter. I feel like the first chapters were longest. Because there were so much, much to do. And this is good thing if if the player actually trained or uh, open to be uh, hold on his own in a stick fight. So now it's kind of base base out. So we can, we can. So it's it, it's like either of the group is having a fair deal deal of use useful uh, use out of the spyglass. Alien structure. Oh. Oh. 
Thomas. As Catala note up someone to you, I imagine you have a hit most hit most of the pertinent details leading up to the time time of my departure on mid Kimia. I will give you details of the circumstances been once we meet, but I think it's more pressing you know certain facts. Do not depend on magic. It does not function here in the way any way I comprehend I have concluded something was become of of the manner. Its absence may in some way relate to second factor I have discovered about this planet. I don't know to what extent your inheritance senses have already told you this, but there appears to be evidence of murder. This world was visited by your Valheru benefactors. A violent range exists here greatly similar to Pantheon's uh, serpent people. Similar enough, I, I think they surely must be uh, stranded here by Alma Loka during the time of the Valheru raids across the cosmos. You surely could just better than I. Kamina is still missing as uh, yet and I have made the sweep of the entire island. I'm going to he head to the northern tip of the island. The ruin I spotted there earlier. Perhaps I will find answers there. Book of Stardock. So we found a message of bug. Rope would be like pretty useful later, but I think we can go without it. Korat unfolded the strange note. It appeared they had discovered some sort of map. Seem it accurate enough. Okay. This looks about right. He said, indicating the area of the Ovid. Something interesting in the north. Resemble serpent. <laughs> serpent men are really, really, really bad in the mid game. Yeah. She blasted from the column. Day Stolven picked himself up from when he had fallen on the sand. Reaching up for a hand up from Cora. There was this presence that was in the column. When I touched it, I felt that I could kill every single banath turned on, in the, on the face of this world as if I could have strangled them all barehanded and then the feeling was gone. It's a strange you should mention it, but I'm feeling sort of vigorous myself. But what are these Panathiaden? Is a familiar term, snake men, that we run into. I'm not sure why I know that, but I noticed that is what we are, they are called in this world. 
strength ability. Pillar was smoothing uh, to his touch. Towering over Tovon, it seemed to be made of an exquisite crystal of some fashion. Through it was swollen like he had ever seen on Midkemia. Through it he could see refracted images of what's desert beyond. But when, when he varied the angle at which he held his head, it seemed as uh, to he could see other places which were not on the other side of the column. Instead, it seemed that there were images, oceans, and skies of other colors. Your observations intrigue me. You are Savani, are you not? Started that the presence of the alien sentience in his mind often shook his head, not sure whatever he should simply think to his reply or speak it alone. He decided that speaking would be. In the safest route. I'm not too familiar with the term Savani, so I don't know if I'm the one or not. Who am I communicating with? Nearby Gora threw open a started glance, apparently alarmed that his friend was speaking to the air. Before Owen could rattle of an explanation, the voice within his mind returned. I'm a Sutakami, mother of the thousand mysteries, once goddess of Timiaria. You have summoned me, but do you deserve to know? I'm not sure what are you asking. Are you an oracle? No, the person was replied. I'm my only thing that which is already known. Though I dimly perceive things that may come to be. I sense that you are newly come to this world. Perhaps you would decide to see something of the creatures who in the desolation of your old world. Suddenly, Owen's mind reeled with the visions of the men with the scales rather than skin, the large hulking creatures with the sunny carapaces which roamed the deserts. Gasping retained what he learned about the creatures, as the information floated to his mind like a tide. He at last seized upon the image of his figure. What are these things I see? They look like they are made of smoke. The ancient servants of Raelin Scar, the last priest of Dastavan before the desolation. Creatures of magic, they can only be killed by special spells which drain directly from the, their materiality. Their strength now, they still wander the ruins of that Savan ancient temple. I must rest, I need, need, need it elsewhere. So assessment is rising. Warmth radiated from the column and first Owen assumed that the crystal was radiating heat reflected from the alien sun. But even on the side away from the glare, pillar seemed equally warm. I may do little for you, feminine voice asked quietly his mind. This much and no more. Suddenly the sensation of heat grew west out of pillar like a warm breeze, sifting the sand beneath their feet and pressing out the deserts beyond. In a brief second the wind was gone, leaving the pillar cold and quiet. Our defense. Nice. 100% nice. He's blessed. <laughs> Thrice blessed. Twice blessed. By good defense. Pillarus might have crystal. In a better condition the outer on the circle, its reflective surface, but not such beaded by the blast of the sands as the others have been. Stroking its surface, Owen marveled at uh, the amount of work it must have taken to craftsmen to make. I wonder what this place was originally. Owen asked. 
not expecting mental reply which flooded his senses. You stand at the ruins of Kaising Mao to the high temple, seven gods of Tiriranu. Once these columns were only symbols of the gods, crafted by the Savani artist, our artisans who were servants of the Datsavan. Now they are vessels within we have taken refuge. Refuge? What drives a guard into refuge? I don't think that it would be possible. Valheru, the voice said. Draw it without a true voice. It was impossible for Owen to tell. But there were shadings within it that seemed mixture of hate and sorrow. Those who were known as the Valheru extinguished all life as you know it here. Using this as a battleground where they warred with the all who dared challenge their universal supremacy. Only when that showed to, to us that our struggles would be futile, did we create a plan by which we could drive out the horse of Fantanias, Kadan Kekamati. What did you do? Of the seven who ruled, there are six, only six who survived the desolation. To have faded so far from the world, they can no longer give voice to their thoughts. But instead, there are little more sentient forces of nature. The Dutch one will remain, waiting for the time of awakening. He shall call us when the need has come. We shall not speak at again, Savani. That's the one is some kind of leading, leading god. Gone. Sleeping. Unnerved by the unnatural chill of the object in the blistering desert heat. And moved away. Let's not toy with that artifact again. There was something odd about the column. Removing his hand over struggled to find words for what he was feeling. You know the, how it's when somebody's standing behind you and you know it know that they are coming are standing there, even though you haven't heard them come up. Smiling faintly Cora shrugged. It's a sensation I have heard of. But I'm afraid that it's an experience almost unknown to my kind. Reaching up he took one of these years. There's little that escapes our hearing. Oh, looking down at the ground, Owen suddenly flushed, realizing how little he truly know about Korat or his people. One day, he would make a point of getting to know him better. Well, I don't know how, how to explain what I felt, Pillar expert, I felt alive. There was a presence within it, or if only I knew how to reach it. I wouldn't hesitate it. Shivering in the hellish alien heat, it seemed to probable the sun warmed crystal would blister him. He touched it. But he was curious material like last pillar had been made of. Apparently he wondered of the serpent people they had encountered in desert plants had been responsible for the enigmatic monoliths. But somehow the idea seemed wrong to him. No, the pillars of Garazin were not crafted by them, but not the are not. A voice whispered in his mind. We made ourselves. Or if I was sudden in unenlightened intrusion, aliens presence in it is in his mind, over threw back. But the intruder remained. We seven are where, where the cards of the Timinaria Savani. I myself was on that Savan, Lord of the Gates. But once the Valheru brought the wars of desolation, we never are averted the great star death. I don't know what any of these things you are saying mean. I have heard very little about the even old ones called Val Valheru. But beyond that, it is important, Savani, the voice said. What we were is lost beyond regaining. But there's time yet to save your people from the same fate. Our world, the Valheru have been dead for my, on my world for time beyond reckoning. They can't pose any threat to us. Eh, eh, eh. Not true. Uh, feeling of disinterest was through to him as the god pushed inside the question. The one who knows a spark of Stardog will tell you more when the time comes for you to and the wanderer to make your choices. For now, you must bring to, the, to this place the cup of Rinskur. 
do this and we will free Buck from his captivity. All right. Suddenly suspicious about the nature of entity which spoke to him. He worded his reply carefully. If you are a guard, why do, do you need me to fetch a cup for you? And one, why should I trust body, bodiless someone who claims to be have imprisoned? The one we look for. You are wise to question, the voice replied, but it is mine alone. To know that it is truth. You may do as I ask and bring me the cup of Rulm's girl. Or you may perish in the desolation Triniania. The choice is yours, I warn you. However, it would be unwise to decision to utilize its powers. Buck already has learned this lesson. I've been shooting, so I need more mana. Okay. Perhaps we will find something here. No. Rations. More rations. And copper from Scar. Okay, that someone is these. You have returned with the cup, the voice, voice said calmly. That's well, the abandoned progeny of the Pantheneers will be now be denied access to the hall. We can be assured they will never again hear from the Midkimian mistress. Do their established contact with the brethren holds dire consequences for the future of your world. But for now, you have no need for, of concern. The cup's powers may be, now be subdued until the time it's needed again. Buck's welfare still remains. We have to run to the limits of this island for you. Now we wish to know where you have kept him. He's safe within the structure constructed by the Panathiathan. The protective barrier that kept him within the structure will be removed once you locate him. He appear ap apprehended the scope of the cup, cup's powers when he weakened its powers to seek the mind of his lost daughter. Overwhelmed him, deranged him, a little more than a helpless child. You imprisoned him so you can protect him to save his life. 
to an amused Carla he lent itself to the god's mental reply. Though all of them certain some feelings were be beyond the card, and individually he is no uh, is of little interest to us, but we saved his life in honor of kindness done for the last survivor of our world's holocaust. But the one known as Macros, ah, he knew of these events and asked that the one known as Buck be sheltered until you return here with the cup. Already has regained most of the, his identity and memory, but his abilities will yet be impaired for some months. You also find that the way is open to a place that would have gained your deaths if you had gone there. The ancient lands were once occupied by the wild hero during their wars here. The artifacts there that may have be of help of you in your battles. You may now leave, but take the cup with you. With it, you may teach Buck any spells you know. Buck, where's Thomas? It's important that I speak with him. You are not Buck. Who are you, <laughs> imposter? Uh, uh, Buck was given uh, in, in the books. He was given a detailed description, so he is not a blonde in the books. But let, let's roll with it. He was unable to come, and he sent you us after you. He gave us a spell which you left for to him. Unable, unable to come. Why? What has happened to him? He was injured during that attack on Elvander by the mortal. Kul Alcarana assures that he will be all right. I can't believe that Makala's plan would have served by sending you here, so f for the moment I will have to trust your word. In looking at you, it caused to me that you are familiar. Are you a magician boy who came to Krondor with Signor Locklear a few months ago? Yes, and you remember Gorath. His face has been hard for me to forget these last few nights. It was the first tool of Makala's in his grand scheme. Grand scheme. You are accusers of being liars and spies? I'm not implicating you were willing participants at Korath. You were as unknowing your parties as I must assume Delekan is in his. When you said uh, he had raised the war banners of the Murmandams over Sarsagoth, I became somewhat alarmed. Having seen Murmandam's death with my own eyes, I have no reason to believe he still lived. But the forces acting in his Named caused the calamity uh, at Setanon, and I thought possible the Pantinians were once again responsible. After some investigation, I found out they were indeed interfering with the affairs of the king in the kingdom, but were acting uh, through a band of magical thieves search, uh, searching various mag magical items, trinkets. In no way directly responsible for what was happening in the Northlands, opposing immediately threat to Midkimia. With, with the issue result, I believe Delekan was merely exploiting the reputation of his predecessor to gain power. So then what did Korra tell you that was so important? It was only at the Makala tricked in the coming here that Korra's testimony to Prince Arthur took on any significance. Uh, in passing, he had mentioned Delekan wearing helm of the black shaped like a dragon. Murmandans were, were wear a suk shot helmet. Helm and had it with him when Prince Arutha cut him down. Whoever had given Delekan Murmandans helm had to have been inside the caverns beneath Senan. There are only four magicians I can think of who might have had uh, the willies to sleep inside the first perimeter of defenses that have been placed there. One is Macros, but since he was instrumental in averting catastrophe there, I cannot believe he would be responsible. Another is Magican whom Macros told me of, named Nacker de Isalani. But there again, I have reason to believe the Northlands would hold little interest for him. The only others who could have capable of are Elgar, and Makala, but Elgar has been quite busy with his students at Stardock, leaving your only suspect as Makala. But what is, why is he doing all this? Why would he pushing Delekan into war with the kingdom? If he was ingenious enough to get within the caverns, he would still need a considerable help achieving his final objectives. 
objective. A chamber containing artifact of in unbelievable destructive power, about which he has been in indefatigably interested. I left behind the dragon to guard it, and even my powers would be sorely taxed in a single battle against dragon her age, let alone one with the special capabilities of the one who sleeps under Sedanon. Once she is alarmed, she will no doubt summon help from the garrison of soldiers which King Liam ordered to remain in the region of Sedanon. Soldiers whom Makala surely would have detected in his first visit and intends to counter with the Delegans mortal two troops. Uh, but that's why Prince Aruta sent us to find you. He's afraid Delegans is going to have a matching us working at the siege of Northmarden. Maybe if he can stop him, them there. Unfortunately, I'm no use anyone at the moment, let alone Prince Aruta. In my plain haste to find Kamina, I used a magical artifact that would have been best left alone. We already saw some not, something about you said before that you were going to have a, to trust us. So I, so you'll have to trust me for now when I tell you I think I can help. I hope for all our sakes that I'm not wrong about this. Book shook as if lifted the chevelled crop of run score, feeling power of flare within chilled artifact. In ever expanding circles, his consciousness strength outward touched the minds of those who traveled finding a consolation peer knowledge. With jarring suddenness, only month was joined to Pax, each day by the intimacy of the contact. Concentrate on what you know of spellcraft, book thought. I shall do the same. Though in my deliberate condition, I think I shall benefit more from this than you. Omin stirred and found out Koras was standing over him, looking concerned of this uh, on his face. I was wondering about you two. How long was we were out? Owen asked, sitting upright. Two days. It's a good thing you both had presents enough to mind to eat when I put food in your mouth. Hands. So now, now we can actually return to the north. I feel in different routes, but very south of the nation. We must find my daughter, Kamina. In my current state, I am unable to reach her mind. Note that your travels, but was not able to complete my search. Then we shall continue random. Your our random wanderings. I have not decided to search at random. Assistance, my lay to the north, the pillar of that savan, Lord of the Gates. Well trapped. I found my mind focused there. I know the pillar of which you speak. Lead the way, my friend. Okay, that's a that's a good. Good place to go. Uh, but well, hair armor. Mm. Mm -hmm. It's evil. <laughs> Strength train. Sounds fine. Okay, so we we already had that. So now we have a like super armor for the for the bug. I mean, I mean. Uh, Valhero armor was my coffin in, in, in the Magican, Magican books. Thomas had a Valhero armor which kind of possessed him. So that's that's the story. Okay, there's lots of lots of mana mana here. Okay, now now we can actually return to North. Valhero armor in, in a hole. Dirt hole. What? Actually, actually, I think the Valhero armor that Thomas found was was like, it was pretty much quite quite same. Just randomly stumbled across, across it. Like young young man stum uh, randomly stumbles across the huge evil armor suit.
Gamina. Those bastards subserve to Makala must die. Okay. That doesn't do anything. If, if I can, I'm going to use strength trade once again. Okay, she's in a crystal. She leaves, Makala has many blessings to count. Korat, see if you can uh, do something about the cage. Come on, we just stand back. Book to Kamina into his arms. Eyes glistening with the tears, he hugged the girl tight to his chest, and for a long moment he simply held her, surf resting in her uh, silver white mane hair. Mane of hair. While he marveled through the recent events, at last he slipped a finger beneath her chin, gently lifted and allowed his gaze to lock with her as they initiated special mind speak that had been Kamina's gift since birth. He was lying father all that time, Kamina thought, even when he brought me here, he was trying to get you away from Grondor. I know, I know, Book thought in return. Passing a stray wisp of her hair into place. I shall have to see you better guarded in the future. I've always supposed that uh, your gifts would keep you safe from harm, but I see my pride in you. Sometimes borders uh, the dangerous arrogant. We must be more careful. Agreed, agreed. Again, she hugged herself to him, feeling her faint nod. He released her and kissed her forehead, looked into where. Owen and Gorat stood at the cave mouth. Curiously, the square was bent double, his face buried in his hands as he shook with the violent coax. I'm okay. Waving his hands, occasionally stealing glances at Kamina. Really? I'll be fine. <laughs> Buck smiled. The boy's theatrics were poor, but it was his manifested obvious. He wished an int introduction before his lungs collapsed. Coming at this hackling John Ruffian is square Owen, but Beleforte of Tyburn. But he and Gorath have been instrumental in helping, helping find you. Perhaps we should have them down in Stardock for dinner someday. Stardock, Owen performers faltered at the mention of Buck's Academy of Maggot. Realizing his laps, he goes, there, tenderly into his hands. I'm, you mean the Stardock, no, another book front, as he drew out a small multifaceted stone from the folds of his robes. This special pattern stone should make us take us there, but we have to drop off coming up before we attend our business. We will to uh, will go to join the Prince Arvta, Korat asked. No, Buck replied, clapping, clap, clapping his hands overhead. We go to Setanon. Mad God's Rage. Chapter 9. 